Okay, so welcome back. In our previous video, we have successfully logged in our user in the application and assigned the token. And now in this video, I want to basically uh, assign or send the token in the cookie, basically in the HTTP only cookie. All right. As I have explained to you before, that HTTP only cookie cannot be accessed on the front end using any JavaScript code. So we can use it. It is a secure area to put our token. Rather than putting it in the local storage, I will put that in the HTTP only cookie, um, which is definitely a secure way. All right. So for that, I simply create here a new file in my utils folder. Let's name it JWT token dot JS. Is that first of all, I will simply create and send token and also save in the cookie okay and simply type here cons send token that will be equal to in that we have to pass three things first of all the user then the status code and also you have to pass here the uh, response object we simply have to export it from here so module dot exports equals to send token all right and first of all let's create here jwt token so create jwt token and i simply type here cons token equals to user dot get jwt token and after getting the token from the user we have to store that token in the cookie so first of all let's prepare some options for the cookie so const options that is small o equals to first of all we have to specify here the expires so when basically this cookie expires so new date all right and the new date i will simply pass here our date dot now let's put it in the new line so date dot now plus process dot env dot cookie expires time and we multiply that time uh, with the 24 hours multiply that with the 60 minutes multiply that with the 60 seconds and multiply that with the 1000 milliseconds all right so we have to export this cookie after uh, this time and convert that into the milliseconds and after that you also have to pass one more option here that is called http only that is true make sure that you put here http only is equal to true because if you don't specify this then this cookie is not going to be http only cookie and if that cookie is not http only that can be accessed by using uh, the javascript code okay but http only cannot be accessed all right so these are the options let's pass to here res dot status uh status is going to be the status code that will be passed and then dot cookie and in the cookie we have to set the token right we have to set the token that has this value all right so the key is the token and the value is this token so we have to set the token is equal to this token and the options that we have passed here expires and http only and after we will send back the uh, json i select type here success to definitely true and we have to pass in here the user and also you have to pass in here the token so token all right so now let's go to our config file and here I have also specify the cookie expires time equals to seven. So you also want to expire my cookie after seven days. All right. 
Salt is uh, ready. Let's go back to our auth controller. And first of all, in the register user, I simply remove all this from here and simply call here send. Oh, uh, sorry. Send token. I have to pass here two things. First of all, the uh, user, then the status code that is 200, and then the response. Uh, which is this one all right so let's import it first of all so it is already here <laughs> send token because when we have press uh, s and press backspace it and uh, the vs code automatically imported that in my file all right cool now let's copy it also from here Control c and put that right here and now press Control s and now let's test it out if i go back to my postman and click on login you will see that we get here the token the user all right and now if i go to the cookie you will see here our cookie is present right here so token value is this and it will expires on 5 december 2020 and http only is true all right so it is set to the cookie successfully all right so we are done with our cookie part in my next video, I will basically protect my routes from the unauthorized users. Okay. For example, uh, if I go back to my products controller, we know that the only authenticated users can create a new product. All right. So we have to protect this route from the unauthorized users. And I will do that in my next video.